always important that we honor those who serve our country and keep us protected. Uh, yes, the US military, oh my gosh. What about those folks who served many, many years ago? Well, there's an amazing organization called Honor Flight who goes out of the way to take veterans on an amazing journey and thank them once again. It's called Honor Flight. Scott Majewski joins me now uh, this morning from Wisconsin. He's a volunteer with the amazing organization uh, and recently took a flight with some veterans. Scott, how are you doing this morning? I'm great. How are you? I, I am just great. Now, you have been a volunteer and you have flown back to D.C., which is what Honor Flight of Southern Nevada does, taking these veterans back on a, on a three day trip. Uh, tell me all about what this journey is like. So uh, we leave er this last trip. We left early in the morning on a Friday and we fly into Baltimore where we spend the night. And then uh, we spend all day Saturday, uh, we bust down to DC and we spend all day Saturday exploring and visiting the memorials that were created in honor of our veterans. Well, it sounds like a, it's something very worthwhile to do. You've gone as a volunteer. You've escorted actually nine different veterans on this tour. It's really more than just a three day trip, isn't it? Tell me about what has really touched you about the honor flight experience. It is. It's actually, uh, I think, in some cases for some of our veterans, it's a healing experience for them because, uh, you know, they get to visit things that were created for them for their sacrifices uh, for the United States. Um, and a lot of them, you know, especially now that we're transitioning into the Vietnam era veterans, there's a lot of, of their comrades are on the Vietnam Wall. And so it's very moving for them. And some of them have a hard time visiting that wall because of you know, them losing those folks that they were close to in the in the war. For World War II, you know, this last trip, we had two World War II veterans. One was 96. Uh, I believe he turned 97 now, and the other one was 98. Uh, so, you know, there's not many of those folks wow. left that we are able to escort back. And it's an opportunity for them to see the memorial created for, you know, the largest, one of the largest battles in our history. Well, it's a pilgrimage for sure. And I imagine that as a, a volunteer, you learn quite a bit. Have you had any prior military service yourself? I have not. I, I did this. I got involved with Honor Flight because uh, my great uncle was a World War II veteran and got on a flight out of uh, Wisconsin here. And so since that time, he went in 2012. I've been involved with Honor Flight Southern Nevada since 2014. And what a great, meaningful way to support military, even if you, uh, you know, aren't someone who's serving in the armed forces yourself. I know that I have secretly been wanting to go and volunteer and do one of these flights for, for quite a while since I've learned about Honor Flight. It is, of course, a national organization. So there's groups from all over the country um, that send these groups of veterans back to D.C. But here in Southern Nevada, man, this program is alive and well. Scott, I actually got the chance to meet the veterans uh, when they arrived back at the airport, I believe a group you were a part of, on May 1st. So I was down at Harry Reid uh, at the airport waiting for the flight to come in. The flight was a bit late. So I got a chat with dozens and dozens, if not maybe a couple hundred of folks who turned out to welcome these folks back. And the look on the faces of the folks when they arrive off the plane and realize there's that many people there who just took time out of their day to come down and say, hey, man, you're still great. We honor you. Thank you so much. It's cool. Yeah. And, and they get that uh, actually. So that's a surprise for them when they come home. But they also get that experience when they we land in Baltimore, because uh, once we get off the plane where we have to go through the airport uh, past the, you know, beyond the security point, uh, point. So anybody that's traveling through the Baltimore airport gets to recognize our veterans coming in because they do announce us coming in. We have a um, town crier that wa escorts us through the airport there. And then when we land in Vegas, it's kind of the same thing. There's all of these folks that are flying out of Las Vegas that you guys on the outside of security don't, don't see, but they're lined up along the corridors. They're clapping and cheering us as we walk through with the veterans to the tram to get back to the main terminal. Well, it's just awesome. I commend you for being a volunteer and, go and attending that many times, that many trips. It's really oh, amazing. Um, we have a 30 minute special that we are going to air here on Channel 13 this Saturday night, folks. It is all about a recent journey that Scott was on, as a matter of fact, back to Washington, D.C. that happened at the end of April, culminating on May 1st uh, here as they all the 
the folks return back to the airport, but you can watch it at 6.30 p.m. here on Channel 13. Learn all about Honor Flight. Scott, I would imagine you've probably recommended other folks to volunteer and go along uh, on these flights as well. Yes, yes. Uh, we're always looking for volunteers and we're also always looking for guardians. And a guardian is basically what I call the concierge to the veteran through the weekend. Uh, we have a lot of family members that go as the guardians, but I myself go as a guardian where I'm meeting the vet for the first time at our orientation that we have prior to the flight. Well, Scott, thank you and so much for joining me today. Oh, go ahead. Oh, thank you. I, I thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to uh, meet with you and talk about Honor Flight Southern Nevada. Well, you bet. And we appreciate you for putting on your Honor Flight polo today because you look you look very uh, you look very on brand, my friend. <laughs> if you uh, would like you, to you. volunteer <laughs> or learn more about Honor Flight, you can visit their website. And please tune in here on Channel 13 this Saturday night at 6.30 p.m. for our amazing 30-minute Honor Flight special. We will be replaying that again at 6.30 p.m. on July 4th.